Where am I, you might ask? Vietnam is the answer. In the middle of the freaking jungle and I just lost my drone, guys. I don't know how it happened. It just dropped from the sky. It's gone. So, I'm at the end of my trip. Sorry, guys. I'm bummed. But the vlog's still awesome. Rock on. my name so he must be legit doesn't speak a lick of English so it's raining I have zero warm clothes and zero waterproofs let's see where the day takes us <laughs> that trip wasn't too bad I'm here in some place I forgot what it's called Oxalis Adventures. They're running this gig here and I've heard some pretty good things about them. Let's go inside. So Oxalis run these really cool tours into the mountains here and there's caves everywhere and there's the largest cave in the world, the third largest cave in the world, a whole bunch of crazy things and they've got a pretty good outfit here. Sort them out with this jacket because I, hey, how's it? Sort me out with this jacket because to be honest I actually brought literally nothing with me. I think we're about ready to go. Down in the dirt. Down in the dirt. Down in the <laughs> Woo. This is nuts. I've got my like Nike trainers on as if I'm going out for a walk. There is literally mud everywhere. I've gone about 100 meters. My shoes are just full of mud. Socks are wet. Really came ill prepared. But that's life sometimes, isn't it? Shoot. Qua. Qua. There we go. Yeah. He's uh, guiding me through this treacherous terrain. It is diabolically brutal in this jungle. We've only been going for a kilometer, maybe not even. I'm up to my knees in mud. I'm slipping around like crazy, but all of that is due to my own fault. I didn't come prepared. I ignored all the, uh, the advice that was given to me and just thought, ah, I'll just go do it. And now this is what happens, you see? Boy Scout, not me. Well, just passed one of the locals now. My, look at my shoes compared to his. There's mine and there's his. Not one bit of mud. It's all about technique, and I don't clearly have it. Hey, yeah. give me a fist bump. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it's very beautiful. It's a crazy place. So thick, so dense, and there really is literally nothing else here. But I have my guide with me here, and we are heading on our way down to a village now. And from the village, we're gonna have some lunch there, uh, and then find our way down to the cave. And once we're there, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Oh, oh crap, it started to rain again. Let me put this camera away. See, that's what happens. I totally, totally plutzed it. What an idiot! Oh, what a loser! And I fell down there and got caught by some of that. And then he came and saved me. 
and I got a boo-boo to prove it. Good! Good! I'm a mess, but still having fun. Good man Kwa have uh, pretty much reached the village. I've been going for a few kilometers now and I've kind of resigned myself to the fact that my feet are just gonna get soaked. And it's actually getting a lot easier, a lot more beautiful. You know, one of the biggest problems I face as a vlogger is trying to capture exactly kind of what I see and bring you guys along for the ride. But every now and again you get to places that it's just very difficult to capture that and this is one of those it's just the mountains in the background like the, the thickness and the denseness of the jungle is like tangible let's eat some food here's lunch I found another Asher. She growls too. <laughs> Say hello. 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 <laughs> ding, 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 ding. School time. Seven kids in the village. And this is their little school here. So the village name was Dong, D-O-O-N-G, apparently. Yeah. Very interesting story. A guy came here to avoid the Vietnamese war and all the fighting. When the war was over, he liked the area. He liked the area so much that he came back here and established a village. And the, they're totally cut out from the outside world. The only way to get in here is to hike in here uh, through a single track path. And then from there you need to take another road, which is another 35 kilometers to any sort of civilization. No electricity, no running water. So it's a very, very isolated village. Leech. Nasty leech. You know, one thing that is no joke around here is the creatures you find in the jungle. There's two types of leeches. One's not so bad, one is bad. It's a number of different types of snake. And we've already seen one leech over there. They just suck on your blood. Down in the what an amazing overhang. The river runs underneath it and through to the other side. Very pretty. Thank you, thank you. Bye bye. How you feel? Guys invited me to <laughs> eat their fish with them, but they don't gut it. They just take a fish and they stick it in the fire. So there's like guts oozing out. I don't know if that's my deal. That's like living off the land in its finest over there. Pure form. Those guys are real men. Do I look like a Muppet? Yes, I do. We just arrived at camp. We've met up with another team of about six or seven people. Yeah, now we're going to go into a cave, which has some funny name. Don't know what it is. Apparently it's pretty cool and we have to swim there. It's really cold and I've got all this on. And the campsite is pretty sweet too. Oxalis, thank you. Anyway, I'm gonna switch to my GoPro.
got me doing a bit of the cooking here. 